Previously, we explained what needs to change inside the drivetrain due to bigger growing wind turbines. While driving through the country, have you ever realized that there are different kinds of wind turbines? Although they all have the same purpose, they definitely do not look the same. There are ones with a round nacelle, some with a long nacelle. Why do they look so different? To explain this, we need to take a look at the inside of the nacelle, the heart of the turbine and inspect the drivetrain more closely. Today, there are basically three types of powertrains, high-speed, medium-speed, and direct drive. A high-speed architecture consists of a main bearing, a gearbox, a coupling, and a generator. These four components are the proven standard for decades. Drivetrains of direct-drive turbines consist of 6 to 12 direct-drive segments which are combined into one large generator that directly transforms the motion energy into electrical energy. The nacelle often looks very round and short. The medium-speed concept is the third of the three presented architectures. Here the main shaft is directly connected to the gearbox and generator which makes this system most compact. For now, due to the large potential of growing power ratings, these drivetrains are mainly used offshore. Stay tuned! Next time, we'll explain the specialties of the medium-speed gear generator for onshore and offshore applications.